What's going on y'all, Defender32 here, and in this video I'm going to be giving a review of the game Drunken Bar Fight. Now as we all know it's a new PlayStation VR game that has dropped in the PlayStation Store a couple days ago. And um, to be honest it's a cool game, it's a little rough around the edges and some spots, but um, if you like fighting other than a knockout lead video game, this game will be for you. Uh, so start it off your movement. The way that you move in the game, you move with the square button and X button. You move with the square button to move forward and move with the X button to move backwards. Now there is no turning in this game surprisingly but uh, in order to turn you have to look in the direction you want to like walk to such as if I'm looking at you right now I'll walk forward but with the VR headset if I look like this and hit square he'll walk that way. So there's no turning buttons even though there is rumors that uh, they will be dropping a patch to let you turn with the buttons on the right side. Um, now, along with the physics, it's like ragdoll physics. It's almost like Gang Beast if you play that. Just imagine uh, you playing as somebody in VR. Uh, the way that they move in the game is hilarious. <laughs> you have all this different stuff you can interact with throughout the three bars that are in the game, such as pool sticks, pool balls, of course, beer, liquor, wine bottles chairs they even got grandma's walker in there which is kind of funny it's just darts which was crazy you can either pick people up and throw them out the window so it, it's a really fun game um like i said there are three maps it's the sky bar which is where you're like on a roof of a building you're fighting people they're coming out of the elevator you have the original bar that uh you've seen in the trailer and you have another bar which is the saloon which is kind of like a, a old western type bar from like the 1900s or something like that. Um, let's see. The bad things about this game is that. Bad things. Um, let's see. What would I say? Other than it, there's no turning. Which is kind of weird. Because you got to look everywhere to go. You can't really like turn. Um, bad things. The way that your arms move in the game. It's kind of funny. It's almost like the way your arms move in the game. The impatient if you played that. Like, it works well, but it, it could work better, you know? It could work perfectly instead of just working okay. Uh, your arm movement is okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to actually move your arms in the game because, one, it's basically covering 360 field of view, you know, such as HTC Vive or um, Oculus with the PlayStation VR. It has 360 view, but the move controllers don't. So, as you may know, you be getting lost, you be getting, you know... You become so into the game you forgot or you actually forget that you then gonna have your move controls in your hand. So when you turn your body and look the opposite way, which the camera isn't facing, your hands start to like glitch, you know, because the camera can't see the PlayStation move controllers, but it can see the headset. So that was that was kind of disturbing. That was kind of it took away from the game a little bit. But hopefully when PlayStation VR two comes out, they'll fix that with three sixty field of view for the PlayStation move controllers. Now on to the good. It's fun. Um, it, it doesn't get old, you know, I still play it to this day and I got it on launch day. It's hilarious. Uh, it's a good game for like your girlfriend or for your parents to try out or those who are new to PlayStation VR, you know, you get them in their headset. They're like, oh, this is cool. You know, you're hitting people out the window with baseball bats and stuff. It, it's crazy. But, uh, if you can mind the little minor things that's wrong with the game, it's a good game, such as tracking and the ability to turn stuff like that. Um, the punching people is fun. The whole game is just fun, like I said. Now, my rating for this game, it would be probably, uh, I rated it a full three stars. Because even though there are some things wrong with the game that could be better, it is tons of fun. Now, um, if you're looking forward to this game, I forgot what the price was because I brought all the games at once. I, I brought Knockout League, I brought Drunken Bar Fight, and I brought Sprint Vector. Um, I believe this game was, I believe it was $12. Um, unless it goes on sale sometime. Uh, so look into that. Uh, don't take my word for it. Even though I, I'm 90% I'm sure that it was eleven ninety nine. Um, check for yourself on your app. On your phone or the PlayStation Store. But that's all I got for this game. This is my coverage of it. And my time that I spent on it. I have gameplay on my uh, channel. I'm going to put down the link below. under the com Or in the comments. I'm going to pin it. So if you'd like to see that, I'll have that there for you. Uh, it's my first impressions and my takeaways of the game. But other than that, Drunk and Bar Fight, it's a go for me. I love it. Play to just say, like I said, check it out for yourself in my video down below. This is the Fin32 signing off. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Peace.